President Kufuado has announced changes to his cabinet and uh, it's just coming through. We haven't been anticipating this for some time now. So those anticipated changes have been made and I'm going to go through the list right about now. We have a statement coming from uh, Jubilee House. So the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Dodankwe Kufuado, has made the following changes to the composition of his government with immediate effect. John Peter Ameu, former Minister for Lands and Natural Resources and Acting Minister for Energy, is now Minister for Energy. Kweku Asuma Treme, former Brungahafu Regional Minister, is now Minister for Lands and Natural Resources. So he takes the place of uh, the minister uh, who was there, who's now gone to energy. Now, Honorable Kofi Ada, Member of Parliament for Navrongo Constituency and former Minister for Sanitation, and Water Resources is now Minister for Aviation. Cecilia Abna Dapa, who was the former Minister for Aviation, is now the Minister for Sanitation and Water Resources. Dr. Mustafa Abdul Hamid, former Minister for Information, is now Minister for Inner City and Zongo Developments. And uh, Honorable Kojo Oponkuma, Member of Parliament, for Ofasi IUB constituency and former Deputy Minister of, for Information is now Minister for Information Designate. Honorable Cynthia Morrising, Member of Parliament for Agona West constituency, is now Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection Designate. For Lina Tangoba Abayage, former Minister, Ambassador to Italy, is now Upper East Regional Minister Designate. It continues. Honorable Evans Opoku Bobier, Member of Parliament for Sunafu North Constituency and former Deputy Brunner Hafu Regional Minister, is now Brunner Hafu Regional Minister designate. Honorable Martin Oti Jako, Member of Parliament for Tichima North Constituency, is now Deputy Brunner Hafu Regional Minister designate. Then Honorable Boniface Abubakar Sadiq, Member of Parliament for Medina Constituency and former Minister for Inner City. And Zongo Development is our Minister of State at the Office of the, Pre of the Vice President. Roxing Bukhari, former Upper East Regional Minister, is now Minister of State at the Office of the President. Pius Enam Hajide, former Deputy Minister for Youth and Sports, is now Deputy Minister for Information. Paris C Curtis Okujoto, former Deputy Minister for Information, is now Deputy Minister for Youth and Sports. And then Otiku Afisa Jaba, former Minister for Gender children and social protection is now ambassador designate to Italy and the statement continues. President Tokufado is hopeful that Parliament will expedite the vetting of the ministers designate for information and gender, children and social protection and the regional ministers designate for Upper East and Brown Harfo as well as the deputy regional minister designate for Brown Harfo so they can assume their respective offices as quickly as possible and is signed by Eugene Aihing, director of communications so we're going over onto the phone lines now to speak with our presidential correspondent Elting Brobe hello Elting so we're just getting this uh, coming through from Jubilee House in the last few minutes uh, are we to expect any more or this is uh, just what we've been anticipating well yeah I can say that for now maybe this is what we have to chew on uh, until the president decides to make more changes to his government because he has a prerogative. But for now, I can say that this, 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 he just represents what we can achieve for now. All right, so we had been anticipating some of them. Um, are there any surprises, would you say? From the list that we have, uh, 15 individuals, some have simply changed uh, ministries and, you know, chairs. Uh, but the only person out of government so far is the uh, gender minister, Otiku Afisa Jaba, who has been designated for uh, ambassador to Italy. I can run by you the list as we were just given uh, from the office of the president, if you don't mind. No, we've gone through the list. Uh, what I'm curious about is some of, the, some of them that have been moved and made ministers of state. So there's one... Uh, Minister of State at the office of the Vice President. And then there's uh, another one. So we have uh, Honorable Boniface Abubakar Sadiq, a uh, member of Parliament for Medina Constituency and former Minister for Inner City and Zongo Development. He's now Minister of State at the office of the Vice President. And then Roxin Bukhari, 
uh, former Upper East Regional Minister, now Minister of State at the office of the president. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, why, why this shift? Do you have any uh, ideas why this is happening? Unfortunately, we, 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 we can only speculate on the reasons that may have. What are you, what are you picking up? President, uh, to move some of these people. Uh, Abu Bakar Sadek, uh, who until this reshuffle was the Minister of Zongo, uh, is in his development, is now heading to the office of the Vice, vice President. What I've been told uh, is that at the office of the Vice President, uh, there isn't, uh, apart from uh, Mr. Ogetin Blay, who is the Chief of Staff, and a uh, few technical who have been appointed, there isn't any, uh, for want of a better word, a party person uh, who is needed to shape a policy that will reflect uh, the, the, the world situation of people uh, within the party. So that's how come uh, where the, 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 the Zongo minister has been moved to this particular uh, position. Some of the other guys are unknown uh, who, who are yeah. assuming uh, positions in government, are unknown. And indeed, I can't be corrected, but this is actually the first time we're hearing of a minister of state at the office of the vice president. And the reason we've been told is how in the day-to-day -day engagement, policy planning, especially at the office of the vice president, reflect the will and then the concerns of especially uh, people belonging to the Ghanaians in general. That's how come a senior right. person, a former minister uh, during the COFOR administration has been moved from uh, a ministry under the office of the president Enough All right. So what we're seeing now is uh, we haven't seen a reduction in the number of ministers. Indeed, what we're looking at right now, if we're looking at uh, Boniface Abubakar Sadiq being oh. made a minister of state and Roxin Bukhari being also made a minister of state at the office of the president, we're having an extra two, if I'm correct. Mm. Exactly. If, 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 if we put together... I think we are looking at almost 111 or 112. One, 112, it, more, more exactly. likely. And I mean, the president made it clear that he has, he, I mean, it, he has no intention of reducing the, amount, the number because from what they've done, from the research they've done, and from the analysis they, they, they have done, the number is quite you know, appropriate to help him execute the job uh, ahead of him. That's why we are not seeing any reduction. Furthermore, people have argued that a reduction would have. Uh, you know, brought from the fact that the president is simply recognizing the fact that 110 is simply a bigger number to accommodate in the government. Remember yesterday there was even a proposal for a parliament to come to this particular matter where a cap on how many ministers a, a government can appoint uh, can be a matter before parliament where the uh, majority of MPs can vote uh, to, you know, to pass this particular law. And then so that it is so that so many people are not appointed to government. Yes. But from what we've been told, uh, uh, from what we've seen, the president has no intention was sorry about of reducing the number. What I've picked, Joey, is that the president met some of these individuals one-on-one -on -one, uh, last week and early this week. And indeed, when they had their last trip at the pediatric law, he made it clear uh, that he had given them up to the end of the year for everybody to justify their inclusion in this government. Uh, we have some few months to end the year, and this reshuffle, this, this reshuffle has happened. Does it say that the president is simply not happy with the output of some of his ministries? Particularly, people have argued about the non-existence of government communication because the information ministry has simply not been able to uh, tax in terms of providing information and uh, speaking to government issues. Uh, the, the, the role has simply been narrowed down to only one person. For your point, it's not surprised that he's now assuming the position of a substantive Minister for information. So these are some of the issues that are coming up, and I hope that in, in, in hours to follow more analysis on the on the appointments will, will, will come to play. Have you picked any reactions from the people who have been affected in this reshuffle? We've been we've been running running we've been running around today. Uh, I mean, we, we, we've had uh, all events so far. Unfortunately, uh, apart from the the, the the rose minister who accompanied us to the third event, where the president. Commission the uh, Princess East Legon Channel, uh, no minister was seen around. And the reason is very simple. We're told that the president had met them already, and everybody was actually in waiting for this announcement to be made official. Because for, the, for some who have been moved, for some who have been elevated, for some who are out of government, they were told as far back as Monday. 
All right. All right. Now, where well, the other bit has to do with when these ministers are going to be uh, go ad, are going to go before Parliament's appointment uh, uh, committee for vetting. Do we know if Parliament is going to be recalled just so they can get to uh, vet these ministers? It is unclear for now, but uh, the, the 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 program is usually that once this list is out, a convocation must go to the Speaker of Parliament. And then the speaker will refer it to the appointment committee. The committee will then decide uh, when to set up date for the vetting to happen. Parliament is not in session. Parliament is set back in October. The president considers this an urgent matter. He can get Parliament to reconvene for this particular issue to happen. He has already made it clear in the statement that came out that he's expecting Parliament to expedite action on this particular matter. But he can move a step further. He's one just sent down as early as possible. And so then we'll have to wait till October when Parliament is full swing before. These matters can be referred to the appointments committee for them to deliberate on it. All right, thank you very much, uh, Presidential Correspondent Elting Brobe, bringing us uh, those insights there on the latest reshuffle, in fact, the very first reshuffle that we're, we're having uh, from President Kufuado. So uh, the following changes, President Kufuado has made the following changes to the composition of his government, and it is with immediate effect. I'll go through the list. Uh, Fifteen uh, people have been affected. So John Peter Ameu, former Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, uh, and acting minister for energy is now minister for energy. Kweku Asomachreme, former Brangahafu regional minister, is now minister for lands and natural resources. And then Kofi Ada, member of parliament for Navrongo constituency and former minister for sanitation and water resources, is now minister for aviation. Now, the minister who used to be there, Cecilia Abna Dapa, is now. Uh, has been moved to the Water Minister for Sanitation and Water Resources, where uh, Kofi Ada was. So essentially, they swapped places. And then we come to Mustafa Abdul Hamid, former Minister for Information. He is now Minister for Indian City and Zongo Development. And then his deputy, or former deputy, Kojo Aponkrumah, a member of parliament for Francia Uribi uh, constituency, is now Minister for Information Designate. So he takes over from uh, his former boss. Cynthia Morrissey, Member of Parliament for Agona West Constituency, is now Minister for Gender, Social, Gender Children and Social Protection designates. So she's new to the government. Now, Paulina Tangoba Abayage, former ambassador to Italy, is now Upper East Regional Minister designates, which means that she has been recalled from her ambassadorial post. Honorable Evans Opoku Bobier, Member of Parliament for Sinafu North Constituency and former Deputy Ronga Hafu Regional Minister, is now Ronga Hafu Regional Minister designate. Martin Otijako, Member of Parliament for Techima North Constituency, is now Deputy Ronga Hafu Regional Minister designate. Boniface Abubakar Sadiq, Member of Parliament for Medina Constituency and former Minister for Inner City and Zongo Development, is now Minister of State at the Office of the Vice. President. Roxin Bukhari, former Upper East Regional Minister, is now Minister of State at the Office of the President. Pius Enam Hajide, former Deputy Minister for Youth and Sports, is now Deputy Minister for Information. And uh, Paris, Perry Kerry, Perry Curtis, to former Deputy Minister for Information, is now Deputy Minister for Youth and Sports. And then finally, Otiku Afisa Jaba, former Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection, is now Ambassador Designate. To Italy, and uh, the statement concludes. President Kufuado is hopeful the Parliament will expedite the vetting of the ministers designate for information and gender, children and social protection, and the regional ministers designate for Upper East and Brown Half, as well as the deputy regional minister designate for Brown Half, so that they can assume their respective offices as quickly as possible. Now, when is the vetting going to happen? We do not know that yet, but as uh, Elton Brobe indicated earlier uh, there should be official correspondence from the presidency to parliament and that is going to inform when the vetting of uh, these persons or these new ministers is going to take place now uh, we will bring you more on uh, join news prime in approximately one hour plus uh, more of today's headlines do stay with us my name is Israel Lyon.